Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring your weekly forecast for December 22nd to the 28th. And I want to say happy holidays to anyone who's celebrating the holidays. Um, also, remember this is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. If you'd like more information, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, Aries, let's work on your oracle now. What's going on on my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And this is going to be for your love interest. What's going on my Aries love interest for their romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Aries romantic love interest romantic love life for December 22nd? to the 28th. All right, feels good. So let's lay these cards down. Let's jump right in. All right. And there we go. All right. Okay. So on the 22nd, Spirit is telling you to have courage here, okay, in your romantic love life on the 22nd. It does look like there's an action being taken towards love here with the Knight of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with has the Queen of Swords energy. So it looks like someone's going to tell it like it is with the Queen of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. On the 23rd, there could be something around children that you could be dealing with, or maybe someone's even being childish here with the children card. It does look like uh, something's going on pertaining to your wishes being fulfilled here with the star card, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be, but this is the wish fulfillment card here. You're having some kind of hope or wish here with the star card or something spiritual there with the star card. On the 23rd, your love interest is making some type of choice because we have the two of wand energy. On the 24th, you're dealing with some type of celebrations, okay, with a celebrations card. And it does look like uh, you have the death card. You could be dealing with Scorpio or there's some kind of transformation going on or something is ending for you. It's starting something new with the death card energy. Your love is just the person you're dealing with has the king of pentacles energy. They're trying to make wise choices when it comes to long-term commitments, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. On the 25th, Spirit is saying, be careful of your health. Be careful what you're eating on this day, all right? Keep yourself balanced on this day, all right, on the 25th. It does look like you're dealing with love and abundance or a motherly kind of energy with the Empress card there, okay? That's on the 25th. Your love is just the person you're dealing with has the Eight of Cups energy. So there's something to do with walking away or physically or mentally walking away from their situation pertaining to romantic love life with the Eight of Cups energy. On the 26th, something around work could be affecting your romantic love life. It does look like you have the Page of Pentacles energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So it looks like there's some type of new path that you're taking and some kind of uh, commitment. Remember, Pentacles are you know, children or long-term commitments or work or money, they're tangible things. We have the Page of Pentacles there. So some kind of message around that or something to do with a new path around that with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with has the Strength card. So they could be dealing with a Leo or they're having some issues around gaining some kind of strength or courage here with the Strength card. On the 27th, Something to do with marriage or some kind, something surrounding marriage or commitments is affecting your romantic love life. And it does look like you have some brand new opportunities here with Ace of Wands energy on the 27th. So for my singles out there, there's some kind of new potential here with this Ace of Wands. For my couples, it's going to be some kind of renewed passion here with the Ace of Wands. 
Your love interest is the person you're dealing with, maybe in an argumentative kind of mode or some kind of harsh energy here, or some kind of fast moving energy here with the Knight of Swords energy. And on the 28th, if you're not going out and have a good time, Spirit suggesting that you go have a good time here with the Good Times card. And it does look like you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with the King of Cups energy. It does look like you're making wise choices when it comes to love and you're actually taking a leadership role when it comes to your love life with the King of Cups energy. Your love is just the person you're dealing with feels like they're being left out in the cold or they're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. All right, bear with me, guys. So let's see here. You have this week one, two, three major arcana cards and two court cards. Now, major arcana cards can deal with things pertaining to the universe, something that's beyond your control. And with the court cards, they can actually be involving people here, okay, this week. And it does look like the central theme as far as the numbers go for this week is Ace of Wands, which is some kind of opportunity that's coming in. All right, so now bear with me while I do your overall. Let me move these things out of the way here. All right, so as you know, I use three different decks here. My Lenormand slash Tarot deck, my Lenormand deck, and then my Rider Waite Tarot deck. All right, what's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for December 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life? for December 22nd to the 28th. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for December 22nd to the 28th? Okay. And for my earphone users, um, the shuffle is gonna be a little bit louder with these smaller cards. I just wanna be warning about that. Okay. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for December 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And again, for my earphone users, Aries, what's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for December 22nd to the 28th? What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for December 22nd to December 28th? Okay, so, King of Pentacles energy. So in the current position, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, it looks like there's a person here that's trying to make wise choices when it comes to long-term commitments. Uh, there's something surrounding loyalty here because the King of Pentacles is a loyal person. It's something to do with loyalty or family-oriented situation with the King of Pentacles energy. And this Emperor energy can be something to do with work or gaining some kind of control, being a leader in the situation. Also, obviously, the Emperor is your energy, Aries. And it is uh, can be also a fatherly figure there. And this has to do with, the Garden card has to do with Lenormand, it can be an actual garden, or it's something to do with family or a group of people here. So it does look like in the current situation, uh, there's a person here that's trying to, uh, you know, really make wise choices when it comes to long-term commitment. They're taking control of the situation because we have the Emperor card there. They're taking the leadership role and it's around a group of people. Maybe that's family, maybe that's a workplace, but there's something to do with a group of people involved with the situation or the public or something around people here. Okay, so, and also if we look at the numbers, it's something to do with choices too. What's the blockage here in the situation? Eight of Pentacles, work school apprenticeship here could be the blockage or something to do with putting work or effort into the situation or making a decision for that because you got the side card there. Making a decision to put the work or effort into some type of reconciliation or healing here with the judgment card. And the book card can be something that someone feels is yet to be known or they're get, or someone's trying to gain some kind of knowledge here around is should I put the work or the effort into, you know, having some kind of reconciliation or some kind of healing here. So obviously the healing hasn't happened because someone has to decide, am I going to put the work and effort into that? Okay. And so we have eight, which is work and effort and two plus six, seven, eight, again, to uh, work and effort blockage. So at the foundation of the matter, there you go. That's your energy again, Aries, or something to do with work here, boss, or something to do with someone who's trying to take a leadership role, trying to take control of the situation and tell it like it is, the Queen of Swords energy, energy. Um, because of the fact that maybe something's been going on for a long time with the tree card or because of the fact someone wants some kind of healing because we come back to the blockage. Trees, trees are healing energy. And obviously we have a five card, so 
Somebody wants something to change here with the five card. What happened in the past? There was a choice that was made. So there's a lot of a lot of things about choices here with the two of wands energy. And the choices were things that were being offered pertaining to these choices maybe weren't accepted here with the four of pentacles, excuse me, four of cups energy pertaining to a fresh start and a new opportunity. So there was choices that were offered. The choices that were offered, there was a person that was like, no, I don't want those choices because I'm not sure if I'm ready for a fresh start and a new opportunity. And obviously we see two, there was a choice and one plus three is four around stability or stableness. What's going on at the head of the matter here? Moon card. Um, there is some confusion or someone feels like something is hidden here with the moon card. Um, there's confusion about choices or options. Seven of Cups energy around a person. So there is actual confusion or someone feels that there's something deceptive or something hidden about the choices and options here at Seven of Cups around a person, an actual person. But there... Someone is confused about, okay, what's going on with this person? All right, are, are they gonna choose this? They're gonna choose that. Or this person's kind of confused about what they want as far as their options or choices go. Okay, and obviously we look in two, point, two plus nine, 10, 11, which is a choice, okay? So one plus one is two. So it looks like in the near future, your wishes will be fulfilled, nine of cups energy. And it does look like there's a group of people in this card, okay? Some kind of celebration, some kind of hanging out, okay? And uh, there will be a little bit of a defensive nature around this, okay? So someone will feel defensive here in this situation around their wishes being fulfilled. They're still going to feel like there's some kind of test of faith here. It's still going to be hesitation involved in the situation. Why? Because of the fact that maybe uh, someone feels like, wow, could there really be a, a change in a positive direction with the star card? You know, is there really improvements here? So someone's going to question that. Okay, even though the wishes will be fulfilled in the situation, there will be some questioning. Okay, is there really positive change here? Is there really improvement? But there it does seem to be real improvement here in your situation. Nines are about attainment, and one plus seven is someone's going to put the work and effort into this. So what's going on subconsciously? Uh, Page of Swords energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Something to do with you gaining a new perspective about your situation and taking charge of this. So you're, de you're debating, okay, maybe I need to take charge of this. Maybe I need to use my willpower to be victorious in this situation. Obviously the chariot card can also represent somebody who may be in a long distance relationship because when I see the chariot, I think about a car energy. Um, it does look like you're trying to figure out, and I, I said that about choices, you feel like you're at a crossroads about, you know, maybe I need to gain a new perspective to take charge of this to be victorious. And then we have what's influencing you, Aries. Love, soulmate connection is influencing your situation. And something to do with this love, the soulmate connection choice towards love, maybe there is a strong attraction here, maybe an unhealthy attraction here with the devil card. And um, this seems to be some kind of blockage or challenge here with the mountain card. So the influence is the soulmate connection, and a choice that needs to be made using your heart but someone is procrastinating or someone has an unhealthy attachment to something, which is, or someone, that is potentially some kind of delay, blockage, or challenge there with the mountain card. That's the influence. And obviously the influence is something to do with a choice. And two plus one is three about building something. All right, so what's the hopes and fears here? Queen of Wands. So it looks like you want someone who you're attracted to, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or maybe you're fearing that you'll be patient when it comes to your passion, or someone's gonna be patient when it comes to their passions, or the person that you're attracted to, you're having some worry and anxiety around because of something to do with a message or a secret here with the letter card. The letter card can represent news, a written message, some kind of communication, or something to do with a secret that there's worry and anxiety about. All right, so. Let's see what the outcome is going to be for you guys. All right. So it looks like there's some kind of opportunity that you've been waiting for with the key card. The key being that card. The key represents success and an opportunity. All right. And it's something you've been waiting for. Why is that there? Because of a soulmate connection. Well, I did say that there was an influence around the soulmate connection. Two of Cups energy. 
and it's something you've been waiting on and been patient on for a long time here with the Lily's card. So there is a soulmate connection coming in. There's an opportunity coming in pertaining to a soulmate connection or choice towards something you're going to love that's coming in for you. There's an opportunity coming in. Let's just see what the card is. Yup. There's an action towards love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, a knight in shining armor there. And that horse is going towards that open door right there. That's interesting. Take a look at that. Look at how that horse is going into that door right there. So there is an action towards love. There is a soulmate connection coming up for you. It's an opportunity that you've been waiting for. So now let's get some advice for you guys. All right, can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for December 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And remember, Aries, you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to, okay? See, look at that. Something to do with wedding or marriage or commitment is involved with this situation, okay? And healing healing family issues or healing your situation so your love life benefits as you forgive and passion allow your heart and soul to sing so for some of you there is some kind of commitment long-term commitment for others of you if you're already in a uh, situation it looks like you could be getting married or there's something to do with someone who is already married who is going to some kind of healing process with the family and now you can uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy with passion pertaining to the situation and it does look like there is an action towards love here it's an opportunity that you've been waiting for or success that you've been waiting for pertaining to a soulmate connection and Lily shows me uh, pertaining to something that you've been waiting for for a long time or a long time of patience here all right my darlings I love you guys so much if you like this please like and subscribe and of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. So I will be releasing the extra turns for January very soon after the holidays, possibly probably around the 27th, 28th. And then of course, I will be doing another weekly and I will also be releasing. I'm gonna, hopefully I, I have enough time to get down the, uh, I'm gonna do the 2020 for you guys. So watch out for that. All right, I love you guys so much and have a great week.